Hello hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack exploiting a mass assignment vulnerability lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Port Swigger. So in this lab, we are going to find and exploit a mass assignment vulnerability to buy a lightweight L33 leather jacket and we have a user account of winner with a password of Peter. But before moving forward, guys, we have some recommendation in here. You have to know what is the mass assignment is, and you have to know why the mass assignment may result in hidden parameters, and also you have to know how to identify the hidden parameters and exploit the massive assignment vulnerabilities. So guys, if you're not very familiar about this topic, please go to the Web Security Academy, enter the API testing section, and read about this subject. But if you're familiar, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start. And here we go guys, so the first step, let me activate Foxy Proxy as usual. So I'm using Community Edition. And then let's go to the proxy, enter spec twice, and go to HTTP history. So, as you can see guys, my target is going to buy this leather jacket. But before moving to the purchase workflow, let me go to my account and connect as a winner. And here we go, now let me use a winner and password of Peter. Let me log in. And here we go, now let me back to the home. And now let me view this jacket. And here we go, now let me scroll down. And as you can see, in this page, I only have add card. So I'm going to use this button to add a new item to my basket. And as you can see, we have a number one in here. So let me visit it. Okay, now we do have my purchase in here. And let me click place order. And let me see the result. And here we go. Now you can see I have not enough store credit for this purchase. And this is absolutely normal because it costs more than $1,000 and I don't have any credits over here. So now let me check the endpoints I have in here. So now let me see the POST methods. So maybe we will find something interesting. So in here it redirects me to the product page and it just going to add a new item and here this is the page. And in here we have this JS file. So let me make a look. Maybe I will find something interesting in here. And let me scroll down and see. So we have some functionalities in here. And I don't think that there is something interesting to looking forward in here. We have this function of do check out, but there's no lot of information. I only have this method of pause. So let me check and see what I have. And in here we have this API checkout. And as you can see in here, we have nothing in the body because this is a get method. We have a chosen discount, we have a chosen products, product ID, and some basic information. And now we have this post method. And let me just see this one. You can see we have error in here. And we have 201, create it. But even when we have 201, we have error in here. And let me see its body. And here we go. Now we have chosen product, product ID, and quantity one. But guys, I recognize it something in here. You can see we have this choosing products and also it's exist over here. We have chosen products in here. So let me send this one to the repeater. And also let me send this one to the repeater and let me check both of them. So let me back to the first one. Let me resend. You can see we have chosen discount and we have a chosen products with some information about the product. And let me go to the second request with a post method. We have this choosing product. So let me resend and see the result again. And as you can see, we have an error in here. You can see in here, we have this choosing products repeat in get as a result and the post as a body. So let me copy this item price in here and let me try to inject it in the second one. So let me just add it in here. Let me resend and see the result. So nothing is a change. So let me try if the price is zero. And let me send. Okay, nothing is happening here. So let me just remove it. And let me just back in here. And we have this choosing discount and we have a percentage of zero. So let me just copy it. And let me try to paste it over here. 
let me send and see. Okay, nothing has happened, so no problem if I put this one over here. Let me try to add a value in here, so let me just put it as a 10 number, which means 10% of this count. I still have an error in here, so let me just put it at 20 and see again. Nothing again, so let me try to make it 200. And here we go, now we have something very interesting. We have, now we have 400 response and he said in here invalid percentage discount of 200. So this is a very good indicator for me that this value, it take it into consideration when it calculate the total price. So let me try to put it 100 in here. And I think this is acceptable because 100% of discount, of discount, it means I'm going to take the product for free. So let me send and see. And here we go, guys. Now I, I have 201 and create it. But in here, you can see, I don't see any errors, but we have this slash card slash order confirmation. And then we have this parameter of order confirmation equal to true, which means I successfully passed the order. So let me go and refresh the page and see what's happening here. And as you can see, I finally solved the lab. Unfortunately, in this lab, there isn't a purse history. So I will see if I bought it or not. But when I solved successfully the lab, which means I bought successfully the product. And here we go, guys. I hope that you learned something new from my video. So if you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video. And if you have any question or any comment, please put it in the comment below. And stay tuned for the next videos.